The shutdown may be dragging on, but New Mexico's House Democrats and dozens of others are looking at another way out. And some of those Democrats actually have, or they say they have enough Republican support to make it work. Here is News 13's Chris McKee. Crystal, New Mexico's two Democratic congressional representatives have signed on to the plan officially called a discharge petition. At least one thinks it could reopen the government. This long line running through the halls of Congress today may lead to the end of the government shutdown, according to many House Democrats, including New Mexico's. It's our effort to find another vehicle to force the House to vote on reopening the government. New Mexico representatives Michelle Lujan Grisham and Ben Ray Lujan were among the Democrats signing a discharge petition today. 186 Dems are on board, and with enough votes, it would force the House to vote on a bill the Senate has already passed to end the shutdown. So that leadership doesn't get a choice. It just comes to the floor. 200 Democrats are expected to sign it, but they'll need more votes, meaning help from Republicans. But surprisingly, Congresswoman Lujan Grisham says it might be something they have. So we need 218 signatures. We think that uh, we've got enough people to do that. Now we know that 21 Republicans have publicly stated that they would, if they had an opportunity, they would vote for the clean CR to open government. Democrats are banking on moderate Republicans' help. Congressman Ben Ray Lujan said in a statement Saturday, it is time for them to stand up, back up their words with action, and join Democrats in this effort. On the other side of the aisle for New Mexico, Republican Steve Pierce hasn't released a statement about the discharge petition yet, but he has been voting for several Republican bills to restore parts of the government. Yesterday, he said, quote, the House is working to reboot the federal programs that are most important to Americans. Now, we spoke to representatives of Congressman Pierce today on the phone about the petition to see whether or not he would sign on to it. They told us the congressman was flying back home to New Mexico today and would be out of contact for the day. We asked for an interview or a statement when possible, but we haven't heard anything back yet. Crystal, back to you. All right, thanks, Chris. Now, House reps say there is no deadline for collecting the 218 petition signatures. In